Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create reports in ServiceNow. So as part of this demo, I am going to show how to create a couple of reports. One is going to be a pie chart. So where we are going to create a pie chart with the active incidents based on priority. And then we are going to create some list report and then we will see how we can create a time series report. Let's click all then search for reports so you'll see the reports menu there click create new so in the left hand side you can provide the report name you need to select the source type and the table the different configurations and in the right hand side actually your reports will get rendered and here again in service now they have provided some analytics where you'll be able to search for certain keyword and it provides some related in information for example here you can i search for incidents and i could see there is an incident column as well as an incident table okay so first we will create a pie chart so where it is going to display the active incidents by priority Okay, so the report title what I have given us active incidents by priority and the source type you have two options one is to select the data source or the table so here we will select table and the table name since I am going to create active incidents obviously I need to use the incident table so I am selecting the incident table then click next so in this page actually we need to select the type so you will be able to select the bars time series by default the list is selected so that's why you can see the the list data here so we wanted to create a pie chart so let's click that so now we need to select how we want what data we wanted to group so click this and we wanted to group by priority so click priority and then we wanted to show the aggregation count right so now we have made the selection let's run and check okay so now we could see we have a pie chart with incidents by priority but we want active incidents by priority so let's click the filter it will open the condition condition build so we want active incidents so let's choose the field state field select state so now we need to select the operator so you we have multiple options available is is not is one off so we will select this one off so now we get the options which is available for selection so we'll click new and in progress so these are the two states we are going to use so now let's run and check so now we can see a pie chart which displays active incidents based on the priority so here the aggregation is count so now click next so this is the page where you'll be able to select the style so you can select a different color palette you can use a sef several colors and then when you run so the colors changes and then again uh, you'll be able to even select the hex color code list that also you can do we'll enable this checkbox and then if you wanted to do the custom sizing that also you can do so if you wanted to again select the chart size large medium small you'll be able to do it right and uh, what is the decimal precision we wanted to use that also you'll be able to apply let's run and see so now since we have selected the display uh, data labels you are able to see the data labels also right so now we can save this report so we have successfully saved this report now let us go and create a time series report again click all create new so we are going to create a time series chart which reports the incidents by month incidents by month and the source type is table again the table is incidents table okay click next so now we are going to create a time series chart so click this bar chart and then click next so we are going to create this time chart based on the created date 
so click this it's created and then the per month and the count we wanted to see this incidence by month only from the last year so let's apply that filter choose field get created so now we will use the operator so at uh, at or after and then click so here service now it is providing us a lot of options where you will be able to uh, they themselves have provided a lot of options where you will be able to select last seven days last 30 days like that but in our case we are going to we want this incidence by month for from the last year so let's click the last year so let's run and check so now here the incidents are reported by month click next and then we, we can change the color so if you want to change the color so let's give it as red so you'll be able to click red and then if you wanted to display the data labels that also you can do let's run and check okay so now we have generated a time series report which is the incidence by month let's save it okay so now let's create an another list report click all create new so this again we will create a report um, active incidents table is incident click next so default it has a list view click next so here you can see it is showing a lot of columns so you can decide which columns you want to have click choose columns so if you want to remove any columns from here you need to use this arrow so i don't want this updated and updated by i'm just going to remove this as well as i don't want this color so i'm going to remove this so if i wanted to add any other new columns i need to just select and add it here and if i wanted to move anything uh, i'll be able to just select and then i can just move this click ok okay so now we can we have removed the columns whichever we don't need but now this particular list we are creating for active incidents but you can see we are able to see the incidents which are in the other state as well so let's apply the filter first select the field as straight and then this time we'll use the operator is not one off so it list displays all the states possible states so let's select the on hold resolved closed and cancelled so we want to display the incidents which are not in any of these states whatever we have selected let's run and check so now we can see we are having only the new and in progress incidents okay so now there is another option available so where you will be able to group by so we'll select that select the state then run so now we can see because as part of the uh, active incidents we are considering two different states the new and the in progress and now we have we have grouped by the state and we are able to see this let's save this report so in this demo we have seen how to create different type of reports in the service now thanks for watching the demo